Hey guys, what is up? Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video here today. Uh, I my, my whole concern here recently is, you know, as, as you all know, yeah, I'm a, I am a Michigan fan, so I am going to sound a little biased here, but as you tell from the title of this video, why are we not talking about Michigan? You know, I, that's probably the biggest thing that I got from Big Tens this weekend, you know, and you could talk about how, how great Ohio State looked and how Penn State looked. Well, yeah, they did, but guess what? They've been looking great all year. It's, it's no surprise. We all know that they're the best two teams probably ever at one and two. And, you know, Michigan, in my opinion, has been, you know, deeply slept on. That I don't know why. I, I mean, the whole talk has always been about Ohio State, Penn State, and that's great, and no offense, but it's kind of getting old. I mean, yeah, they're great. We get it. We get it. Now, can we start looking at, you know, looking at what's beyond that as far as Big Tens go? You know, now there are also other teams and, you know, other wrestlers out there, obviously. Well, Michigan this weekend at the Big Tens, and I said it on the podcast before, they came to show that they cannot be overlooked anymore. They, I think they ended up finishing with, uh, I think it was 118 team points for third. They got third, three. You know, that's third place behind Penn State and behind Ohio State at one. You know, Iowa, I think only had 90-something. You know, so... With that being said, why why are we still sleeping on Michigan? And can anyone answer that question for me? I mean, just to run down some of the stuff they had, they had Stefan Micic win. He 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 got first. Then you had Alec Pantelio. He also got first. Um, then you're looking at the two guys who finished the you know the two who finished in um, second place. You had you had Miles Amin. He lost to uh, Mark Hall, which Mark Hall has probably been one of the top guys at you know that weight. And he's just hard to beat. He finds ways to win. And then you had Adam Kuhn, who wrestled Kyle Snyder. And Kyle Snyder is the face of USA Wrestling right now. I mean, if Kyle Snyder was out of the picture in heavyweight, you know, I'm glad he's not because I love Kyle Snyder. But if he was out of the picture, it would be Adam Kuhn's show. I mean, there's no one else who can hold a candle to him. Not Neville's, not Stoll. And, you know, I would, and I could almost argue that Miles Amin, Miles Amin has beaten Bo Jordan who's one of the top guys in the country at that weight. I think 174. Um, he, he beat him He beat him in the duel. Then you also look at uh, what Dominic Abinader's did. Dominic Abinader placed third this weekend. And, you know, I mean, it seems like, oh, yeah, that's third place. But when I mean, you look at the matches he's put on with guys like Bo Nickel and, you know, Miles Martin and guys like that, I mean, he he's showing that he – He's one of the top in that, you know, 184 weight class as well. I mean, you can't – why are we overlooking these guys? Logan Massa. Logan Massa is probably one of the biggest, craziest stories this weekend if you look at it from, you know, some someone who beat. He beat. He beat Alex Marinelli, the bull. Guy was undefeated. Undefeated coming into this the Big Tens. And honestly, was my pick to win at that weight. And Logan Massa not only beat him once, but beat him twice. And – I mean, no one has done that all year until now. That and it's just wild. I mean, you look at some of the other guys. They they've had. I think this year they returned six All Americans. That's a pretty stacked lineup. I mean, that's those are no slouches. You know, you look at from Michich, Abinader. They've got Miles Amin, Malik Amin. Malik Amin's a scrappy little dude. I'm not gonna. I mean, just because he's a smaller guy and he's not pulling out, he's scrappy. Um, you also got Adam Kuhn, obviously. Uh, Dominic Abinader, I think I already mentioned him. Logan Massa, Logan Massa. I mean, I, I can, I honestly think he could beat Vincenzo Joseph. Yeah, I think their recent match that they had at Big Tens only went to one. I think it was like a one point difference. I'm not, you know, I'm not 100 percent sure, so don't quote me. So, yeah, it's just, it really is baffling to me. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not discrediting anything Ohio State or Penn State have done this year, or even Iowa. I mean, because Iowa's also looked impressive. I was really stepped up to be, you know, they've always had a great team, and I think they've really stood up, stepped it up here as a recent. But, I mean, Michigan, Michigan's always had a pretty decent team as well. But, I mean, this year they're really showing that, hey, we can be one of the elite. You know, we can be up there in the top three. And it's just – it really just baffles me why we're not talking about Michigan enough. And, like, it, it, it could be bias. I am I am a Michigan fan. It could just be straight bias. But whatever Joe McFarlane is doing there is working. I mean, props to him. He's doing great. Now, we let's hope we can see this trend, you know, continuing on. I mean, I feel like 
I feel like this year could really, you know, pull in some recruits from Michigan, some top guys. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, you like I said, like Adam Coon. If if it, Kyle Snyder wasn't a heavyweight or he wasn't, you know, he wasn't wrestling in NCAA, it would be Adam Coon's show. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And Stefan Micic, what he does in the freestyle world, and you know what he's also doing here in this folk style world, it's, you know, right now I just, other than Seth Gross, I don't see anyone at 33, you know, beating Micic anytime soon. So that's just my quick little rant, guys. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy it, and you know, comment below. Why do you think that we're not talking about Michigan enough? In my opinion, I mean, you know, just comment what you think, and also. Subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. It's in the uh, disc- it's in the if you click on this the Cerebrus Wrestling page, go to channels. You'll see my personal page. Subscribe to that as well. Find us on iTunes and SoundCloud and Anchor. Hashtag Wrestle Six.